Hello and welcome to my craft channel Susie Makes. This is um, an, uh, the next video in a series I'm currently doing um, on knitting. The first two have been how to cast on using the thumb method and the second one was how to do the knit stitch. Today's video is about how to do the purl stitch. So here we are back to the knitting where we cast on 10 stitches and we've done one knit row. So we now return, all, all instructions by the way are in um, for right handed knitters. Um, now we return the needle uh, with the stitches on to our left hand and pick up the empty needle with our, our right hand. Now whereas in the knit stitch you went from front to back you pushed uh, the needle from front to back to make your stitch. With the purl stitch, which is today's uh, stitch we're learning, you go from back to front, like so. And whereas for the knit stitch, once you put your right hand needle into the first stitch, um, front to back, your yarn is actually held at the back of your work and that's how you work all the way along the knit row. With the purl however you go from back to front into the first stitch and your yarn is worked and held at the front of the work. So with your right hand needle going from back to front into your first stitch You then wrap your yarn around the needle like that. Let's go back and show you again. So you take your working yarn and you wrap it over the needle like so. And then you pull your right hand needle back through the loop on the left hand needle once the stitch you can see has been formed there, you take should move it up a bit. You take the rest of the loop off your left hand needle. So there you've done one purl stitch. You have nine stitches left on your left hand needle and your new stitch you've just knitted on your right hand needle. So to do it again you go back to front into the second loop on your left hand needle. You wrap the yarn around your right needle like so. Pull it back and catch it as it goes through. Once you see that second stitch forming, push the rest of the loop off the left hand needle. And there you've done two purl stitches with eight left on the left hand needle. So we go back to front into the third stitch, yarn around your right hand needle like so, start pulling the right hand needle back, catching that yarn as you go through the loop. Once you see that third stitch has formed, excuse me. Once you see that third stitch has formed, push the loop off the left hand needle. You have seven stitches left on the left hand needle and three new purl stitches on the right hand needle. And that's it. You go along the rest of your row in exactly the same way, keeping a hold. Now, I've tried to show you so my hands don't get in the way too much. Um, but everybody has their own way of, of holding their yarn and their needles and their own way of knitting. Um, this is the old fashioned English way of knitting. And uh, so this is how I tend to hold my needles and yarn while I'm purling. And um, you keep a little bit of a hold, not too tight on it because you want to be able to get slide your needles in and out of the loops. 
but you keep a little bit of a tension on it so otherwise your work will look quite gappy and holy. So here we go, this is the way I would do the rest of the the row. Needle back to front, yarn around the needle, pull the right hand needle through once that new stitch is formed, take the loop off the left. You could say the same mantra to yourself as in in, round, through and off. Just like we did in the knit stitch but you're doing it the pearl way. In, round, through and off. In, round, through and off. In, round, through and off. There. You've done your first pearl row. Show you what it looks like on the pearl side. Now then, uh, this is uh, one I did the other day. So now we have learned to do the knit stitch and the pearl stitch, and we've done one row of knit and turn our needle around the other way. Most knitted fabric is made up of a right side and a wrong side. Um, and so if, you, if you've if you knitted one way, in order to get back to the beginning, you've got to go back the other way. Now to make um, a stocking stitch pattern, this is actually, this flat pattern is actually stocking stitch. It's known as stocking stitch. Um, and that uh, is the usually the right side of your work. Now if you turn it over you can see where I've gone back the other way creating the pearl stitch and it creates this ridge like pattern on the back that is usually referred to as the wrong side of your work when you are um, creating a stocking stitch pattern. So there you have your knit stitch, and there you have your purl stitch, and every two rows, so one row knit, one row purl, is known as stocking stitch. So um, in the next uh, video, I will show you how to do garter stitch, which is uh, very simple, probably more simple than doing the pearl stitch. Thank you for uh, watching this video. Um, if you'd like to see for future videos, uh, which come out regularly, normally a couple every other day at the moment, then please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on anything. There'll be many more um, crafts covered in the future as well. Thank you for stopping by.